Yes. 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 If if you don't believe in the power of the Holy Spirit, wait until you meet us. You will know that there's still power. Apostle Paul said the kingdom of God is not of eating and drinking, but it's of power. This man, the day I met him, I'll tell you what happened. He was sitting, we had a lot of people in Chicago that day. One on one, a lot of people. And he was almost in front. I said to him, hey, you, you have got cancer. And God will heal this cancer. And I could see that because maybe it's been wrong or sick. Sometimes when it's wrong or sick, there's a spirit of doubt. I could see that on his face. He's definitely doubting what I'm saying. But I knew what God is about to do. Now when we came here, uh, I think, uh, who is Grant? So we called one of our people here to give a testimony that the cancer is gone. He's free now. I'm not surprised there's been many people like him. I just want you to believe Jesus. Don't believe us. Believe Jesus before we see If we come here and we speak about ourselves, uh, that's not a good thing. We need to speak about the one who is using us, which is Jesus. You are sitting here and you pray. You say, Lord Jesus, help me. I'm telling you, he's going to do something. And he will definitely help you. Some people, one of the reasons why most of the visitors get disappointed is because they are looking at us. They are looking at a pastor that a pastor can do something. No, we can't do nothing. It's Jesus that will do something. So now after we pray for you, I believe something is going to happen. May the Lord help you with all your needs. Whether sickness, marriage, financial breakthrough, I believe it is going to be done. But it's Jesus that will do it. Well, thank you and stay blessed. We're going to start and we don't want to take time. I'm sure you, you can tell you. Some people they've seen us before. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Too. You know, uh, let me tell you something before we start. I was born in the church. Where I was born. I was born right in the church. And when I finished my matric, I was tra I traveled to another. Here you call them states. In South Africa we call them provinces. But after I traveled to another province, I came across Charles. I was very young at that time. I think I was 18 or something. The first day I entered inside a church called Charles. That was the first day I said. I'm not going to attend my church anymore. I'm tired of church approaching. I've come to the place where I'm seeing the manifestation of the Spirit. I'm staying here. That's how I left a church, a church where I was born in. Can you see that? And now I'm finishing, I don't know how many years in Charis. I found God in Charis. I believe many of you are both experiencing it. Like you, you have already experienced God. But Jesus is the only one who's doing all these things. I'm saying this because also of this man. I've been telling him, wait, 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 your time will come, wait. There's order here. We do things by order. So I'm really happy to see you. Today I'm going to tell you what to do. And, uh, <laughs> It's your day to be there. So can we start? I mean, you are a few here. You will know that there's Jesus. 
you know, many of you went to a lot of places looking for help, isn't it? It was not wrong. You were gathering your faith. You were gathering your faith until you meet people like us. Going to a lot of churches is not wrong. You are gathering your faith until you meet Jesus. So I believe today God will help you. God bless you. So I want to start now. Just a few minutes. Ask him, do we take long when we do long ones? Very fast. You know, very fast. Because we want you to see that we are not the ones that are doing this. Just a small way. If it's coming from God, it will be done. If I say to you, Mama, you have got a problem with your legs. If it's a prophecy from God, these legs, they must be healed immediately. I don't know if that makes sense. Yes. It has to happen if it's coming from God. I believe Jesus will help you today. God bless you.